This is incredible. Would you believe that this is actually coming out of a Vital? I thought Vital is not a plugin that I will ever use, but dude, this plugin is the future of sound design. How are you doing, guys? Hey guys, what's up? I'm Reorder. Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna deep dive a little bit into Vital. And what's so crazy about Vital is it's so versatile. I thought Serum is the number one on the market. Trust me, after trying Vital for the very first time, which by the way is for free, I just couldn't believe it. We're gonna be creating this beautiful sound that you heard in the beginning. Before we start, consider subscribing so you don't miss any future uploads. Let's deep dive into it. Let's go. It looks a little bit scary at the beginning, but it's not. We're gonna be using here the classic blend. I'm a trans producer, so let's put it to 138. You can actually right click here and you can enter value. So let's go 138. That's gonna be my thing. Now, it will probably sound weird. Yeah. Let's put it down by an octave. You can actually hold shift and transpose it by an octave. So we're gonna put the units into two voices and just put them a little bit closer together. They wanna hold hands a little, so let's put them close together. Here we go. Love the sound. It's, it actually sounds very analog. I'm surprised. So now let's put some LFO on this unison voices. You can actually LFO anything here. We we'll just put it in like this, and let's set this in a one half. Let's just leave it as is and just listen to what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's actually nasty. Maybe let's try less. No, it doesn't do it for me. But. I don't want to go and find the value ahead there before. So here is this crazy thing about Vital. You can actually go back. Perfect. Now let's have a listen just to the sound. Yeah, beefy. I like that. By the way, guys, if you like this video so far, please consider subscribing so we don't miss any future uploads. Let's have a listen. All right, maybe let's assign a filter. You just have to click down here and the filter is on. And we're going to filter one. You can actually choose if you want to go filter two or if you want in parallel or you can go direct to the effect or direct out. Such a great tool. Okay, let's just put this back. Ah, uh -huh, my button. For the filter, I would go somewhere down here. You know, not too fancy. Keep it on analog 12 dB. It's going to be just enough. And basically what we want to achieve is something like this. And we want to have this on random. So how do we do this? So it's not so static and just randomly goes and, and works with us. So how about we take the LFO2 and put it directly here on the filter. I just want this to be simple. So let's just go with a classic triangle. Let's see how it's going to sound. Right now we have it set to like this. So that's pretty cool, but maybe we should put the filter a little bit more, you know, lower. So how about we go down to about 80, 90. So set value over here and let's go with like 85 yeah I like that maybe we can increase the drive you know just to make it a little bit nastier it's like ah. but maybe we can increase the resonance a little bit as well just to make it you know tougher so how about this yay so how about we do this resonance also you know like go up and down when you when you edit let's grab the LFO free and just put it over here we don't need this to go super crazy so let's just go maybe like this much by the way if you don't want to wait for the end of the video you can check out the link in the description and check the new vital bank that i did together with Meyer. it's available on my website ready for masterclass.com but let's go back to the sound we created this nasty flip blip i think that resonance is still a bit too much so i'm just gonna pull it down to about 20. Yeah, that's, that's more like it. I, I still think we can do something about those voices. So going back, in Vital you have this amazing thing that you can do actually, the stereo modulation. If I turn this all the way to stereo, then the left and right side of these voices is just gonna go crazy. And sort of gives you this huge uh, stereo effect. It's so mind-blowing. Now let's go back to the filter. And I want this filter to, you know, change the tempo. Right now it's set to one half. I want it to go and just change randomly. First of all, I'm gonna take this and change it into seconds. Let's go crazy and let's go for about like 60 or something like that. 60 was something I, I, I like to choose. So we're gonna keep it on trigger because we want to use the random to actually do this thing. So what we're going to do is just take the random and put it here. Set the value to about something like this. Maybe let's try not sample and hold, but let's try some other ones. How about pedaling? 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Maybe let's try, try sign interpolate. That's pretty nasty. But I want to go a little bit crazier. So how about we now take the random 2 and put it to the frequency of random 1. So let's just put it on. We don't have to go too crazy. Just like a little bit. Maybe like this. And in this case, I would go for sample and hold because we just want to hold for that certain amount of time. Yeah, that's getting there. It's, it's pretty cool. I love that. I really like Vital. Please let me know in the comments if you want me to do more videos, maybe suggest what kind of uh, sound would you like to hear to be made in Vital. I still feel there is a little bit too much resonance, so I'm gonna come here into the matrix and just lower it down just a tiny little bit. Oh, that's so cool. Maybe I'm gonna increase the seconds just a tiny bit. We're missing a little bit of noise. So let's turn on the sample. You can actually import any sample that you want over here. And I want this to, you know, come up sometimes, so it's not always playing. So first of all, let's send it over to filter. And I'm gonna take the LFO4 here to the level and pull it down and just let it rise just a tiny little bit. Uh, this sound is actually part of my new preset pack that I did with Meyer and it's available now. Just check the link in the description. There's 135 crazy sounds that you can use. Now let's put a face to the start so we avoid those unnecessary clicks in the beginning of the sample. That's cool. Maybe we can increase the tempo of the divide noise as well because it's a little bit too predictable. How about we put it stereo, add some delay to it so it doesn't start right away, make it a little bit smoother. Let's just put the level up a little bit. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. All right, so now how about we just jump into the effects and make it super nasty. So in the effects section, I would probably start with something like distortion, you know, to make it nice. I like to use down sample, you know, to make it nice. And let's see how it's gonna sound. Okay, let's let's put the mix down a little bit. Maybe increase the drive. Yeah, we don't need unnecessary ringing. Now let's shape the sound with a bit of equalizer. I like to always cut the lows a little bit. So let's just cut the lows and maybe increase the high end with the less resonance. And some mids. I'm not happy about this filter, what it's doing, so I'm gonna ease up a little bit and turn it even lower. Yeah, I like that. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, let's give it a huge reverb. Like, without it, it's just not gonna sound the same. You can actually move these effects up and down just by dragging it and dropping it. Increase the phase, give it some time, make it very, very, very super long. Let's just do some final tweaks here. Let's decrease the level a little bit. That resonance is also, could be louder because we need that sound that basically emulates some sort of uh, like DJ redo sound. So let's just give it a little bit more. I would say that this randomness here on the sample hold is a little bit too crazy. So I'm gonna pull it down. That's a little bit better. And also, it could be a little bit longer. Like, start at like one, two, you know, so it doesn't change so often. How about, as well, like, turn this a little bit further. And I'm gonna increase also the seconds back. This is like a final fine tuning. Give it more reverb, a little bit of low cut here, and let's decrease the time a little bit and the size. 
but it's still missing something. And I would say that what it's missing is a delay. So let's add a delay just before the reverb. Let's make it more stereo. So let's go for ping pong, How about 1.8 and 1.8 dot. Those are my favorites. I always love to use this. Maybe let's cut it up a little. A bit less mix. Now with the noise, I still feel it's like too much, so I'm just gonna ease it up a little bit. Now if you wanna make it super, super crazy, you can just come over to the reverb and even increase the mix. I would say this is pretty nice. If I want to like make it a little bit nicer, I can actually come to my audio effects and beef it up a little bit. So I'm gonna come to my multiband compression here. I'm just gonna add it on top. And that's basically all you that you need to do. You can hear how it nicely pulls all the good frequencies up. Okay guys, and that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what you think about it. And before you go, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any future uploads. Thank you very much. Have a great day and I can't wait to see you soon again. Ciao.